Well, good afternoon from Two Happy Children Farm. I'm out here in the cornfield and I'm gonna give you an update on uh, what we've been doing here and uh, what's going on. Two weeks ago, I had a video where I was looking at this part of the field and um, we had done our pre-plant uh, nitrogen program and we were two days away from side dressing. And uh, out in this part of the field uh, and taking some tissue tests and soil tests, and then I went down to another part of the field that had all the corn about a foot shorter and they were yellow leaves and so I took soil tests and tissue tests there. Um, since that time we've had uh, side dressing was completed and um, about six days after side dressing we had a rain, one inch rain, and this is a week after that rain. So the corn is looking really excellent in this part of the field. Um, it's waist high, approximately. Um, really showing some rapid growth. We went from knee high to waist high in about two weeks. But I wanted to give you some uh, results from the tissue test and soil test. Maybe that'll help on your farm when you uh, run into corn that's not growing very well and comparing it to part of your field that is growing well gives you something to expect. So I'm going to go down under the canopy here and we'll look at the data. So this is the plant tissue report. The top line is the yellow corn. The second line is the green one. And uh, I'll let you guys look at that. What steps out to me of course is the nitrogen is lower on the yellow and then um, the magnesium is lower on the yellow. Kind of everything you would uh, expect to be low whenever you have a yellow corn. Um, nitrogen, magnesium, um, but between the two of them, sulfur and zinc are right about the same. So my takeaway is the, is the reason this corn was yellow is uh, lack of nitrogen and uh, magnesium. And then you also want to look at uh, potassium there. Um, I've done a really good job of building potassium in this field. And those levels are pretty good even considering the condition of the corn that week. So that's the tissue test which shows what the plant is getting into it. Now let's look at the soil test to show what was available. And like I said, we would uh, just done our pre-plant only, 50 pound rate. And now we're looking to see if any of that's left. So both uh, samples showed we had about 25 pounds or 20 pounds of nitrogen remaining. Um, not a lot of difference between pH in the soils, potassium levels, um, phosphorus levels are very acceptable either way. But what strikes my eye is the cation exchange capacity. Uh, that tells you how heavy the soil is. And that yellow area um, was slow to dry out and now it makes sense because it's 50% uh, heavier soil than uh, the green corn area. And that makes all the nutrition harder to get to. And also where it dry is not as drying out as quick, um, nutrition is harder to get to. So if, if I had to take away anything from this uh, experiment, it would be... I could probably use tiling in this field. It would probably do a really good job contributing to my bottom line. Um, about 40% of my field was in the yellow condition and later this fall we're going to go do some more zone sampling and as we get more data to show us that we're high cation exchange capacity and also yield data then we could probably figure out what kind of yield we're going to gain if, if we can get the drainage fixed and uh, let that soil dry out a little quicker. So that's what I got. I'm going to do tissue tests again today and uh, I'm assuming the numbers are going to be equaling out quite a bit with all the nice weather we're having. Um, the plant height is still suffering but the health looks great in the yellow area. So thanks for watching and uh, hopefully things are going well for you.